We are putting in a raised bed. You have seen me dig be here before, as you know, if you've been following the channel, we've got clay soil with rocks and roots all throughout. It's really hard to dig. So this took actually two days to do, but you can see I've got a big pile of dirt here. We dug some out. And so I'm gonna do something different with my raised bed. I've got it right here. We are going to put some sand. So I got some of this. This is natural play sand I got from Home Depot. It's made for this. I figure, you know, we've got all this dirt here and I'm gonna mix it with the sand so that way there's good drainage under here. We're gonna bring this back up and then we can put the raised bed on top. So that way at least we've got some extra drainage and if the roots grow deeper, they're not going to hit this really hard soil. It'll be mixed with sand and it'll soften it. Let's we'll see if this works. All right. Eli. Great, bud. We'll use the tools to put it around. All right. We're just gonna put a little bit of this dirt oh. on top. So I think we're close to even, it's not quite. But I'm gonna use this. Now, we're gonna till this in. And that'll kind of mix that sand up with it. And hopefully, give this a lot more aeration underneath and drainage and I'll just be overall much better for the bed and there's a little bit of grass still in there and that'll be fine it'll break down over time it'll die if it's not getting sunlight so or it should it's been loosen up yeah let's get that big stick out don't stab me Okay. Good job. Now, I'm just going to kind of move this around and get it where I think it's semi-even. We can always adjust it in a little bit once we put the bed on top. Now watch out. Don't step in the in here. Let's go on the side. And we're just going to place it down. No, no, it can be a little more this way because I've got room on this side. We dug it a little large. All right, perfect. We place it down, that's good. All right, so now it's placed down. I'm gonna grab a level. This side now, I think needs to come up, yep. But not very much, that's pretty good. Let's see how this is. All right, and that side needs to come down over here. It's Ooh, that's really close. No, that's that's right on target. That's pretty darn close. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's see what this side looks like. Should be similar. Yep. It's good. Oh, perfect. Amazon, whenever you order from Amazon, all of their packages, they say, are biodegradable. Everything except for these stickers, okay? And we don't want that in the garden. Some of them won't come off. It's okay. A little bit of it I don't think is going to hurt anything, at least to me. Um, they even say this tape here that they use is biodegradable. It's paper tape. I'm just going to cut open these boxes, flatten them out. Can you do me a favor, Eli? If you see any stickers like this, can you peel them off, please? And then I'm just cutting them in half so they lay flat, like so. Of course, we've got some gaps and stuff, but it's mostly lined, so that's perfect. Let's go ahead and start getting some of our dirt in, bud. You okay? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? Dirt in my shoes. All well, then you can take your shoes off, bud. No. For a second. Get the dirt out. 
next year we can grow whatever he wants there that's going to be his whatever bed whatever i want whatever you want as long as it's something that grows i mean i'll help coach you on it but it'll be your bed you can put whatever you want in there okay you said strawberries you want strawberries in the bed uh -huh. that's fine yeah it's pretty pretty even all right so if you guys haven't been following along before this is your first video or maybe you haven't known this we got a big giant six cubic yards dump of soil here which we ended up using to fill all four of those raised beds plus this one plus we did a little bit over here in the corn rows and now here and we still have some left over pretty amazing how far it goes granted we have been amending the soil with other stuff so um, it's not 100 percent that soil in these beds we didn't fill them all the way to the top but pretty amazing i mean it, it was expensive i will admit to get it like 600 bucks to get these this soil but i mean it's filled so many beds and once you have it you have it and it's it's good to go now i will admit it's not the best soil in the world but it's there's there's worse soil too so it's been growing the veggies pretty well it just takes a little bit of amendment a little bit of effort to get it back to good working ability uh, ability it's mostly clay and sand these things are huge look at that i mean i don't know if the camera's going to do this justice but that's amazing that thing's huge i think the chickens have eaten enough of them we keep finding them in this pile of dirt so i don't know if it was already here when we bought the dirt or they've decided to make this their home since we got it all right so i've got this peat moss and we're just gonna dump some out the problem with this peat moss is that it's clumped together we just got to break it apart all right so we'll just get this even on top and now we're going to put some compost in so i've got this that has been sitting for five months or so it's just chicken manure uh, mixed with hay and then some other garden uh, garden scraps and we have not added to it for four or five months so right on top it's not perfect but you can see it's super super dark underneath um, so it should work we're going to add a little bit sprinkle it on top we haven't done that with any of our beds i know because we didn't have it ready and now this should be ready it just smells like dirt is all it smells like which is pretty cool now we've got a bunch of compost in let's start breaking that peat moss apart we can't just put a big chunk in right mm -hmm. so that worked but i think we need to cover all the compost we're gonna add a little dirt on top all right so we're done we put a little of this dirt back on top so we've got this mixed probably three quarters maybe two thirds of peat moss and the regular dirt mixed in so that'll be a nice top and i just gotta rake that together there we go now we're gonna water it in right bud yeah. all right a very healthy watering um there is absolutely no seeds here but i want this to seep down deep because we've got compost in there i want that to be super wet I want this to really break down we're going to cover this with a tarp for about two to three weeks and then we can start planting in there now before i plant i'll probably put literally a top dressing of just peat moss on top or coconut gore or something um, that's a really good me medium for these little uh you know seeds that i'm going to be putting in so when dirt is dry it's hydrophobic so this is going to take a while for it to seep through the next time I water, it won't be sitting on top like it is. It'll start soaking through a little better. But I am going to let it sit for a minute, soak through. I'll give it another watering, and that should be good. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these beds, I will link to this one in the description section. It does help the channel. 
helps me make a little bit of money. Every one of these purchases, they give me a small percentage. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. It is just through Amazon links. So um, I did buy this on Amazon. So whether or not you guys buy it, I, I like these. I've got, got a whole bunch everywhere. I've got six of them. The nice thing about them is that they're super inexpensive. I got two of these for, I think, like $60 which you can't do with wood. Um, it's just really good price. Because they're galvanized steel, they shouldn't uh, rust, uh, or at least anytime soon, and they should last a while, so. It was difficult to put together. I will link also a video of me putting one together. You can check out. So we are done. I did put the tarp on top. Thank you for watching. Let's see you in the next video. And now you escape the daily grind. Mm-hmm. Thanks, guys.